Hey guys, in this video I'll be going through how to solve leak code question 141 called linked list cycle. So in this question we're going to be given the head of a linked list and our task is to determine if there is a cycle in the list. Um, so in this example this would be an example where there is a cycle because um, this last node points back to another node in the list so this will always cycle through here. Um, and then we're going to be given one kind of constraint to the question where we're asked to solve with constant memory. Um, so the approach to take with this question is going to be to use two iterators to essentially like loop through the list. Um, and I've drawn an example here. So we're going to have one iterator um, that's red and it's going to be like our slow iterator so it'll only move one space at a time and then we'll have the blue one be a fast iterator and that's going to actually move two spaces at a time and then using this these two we'll be able to see if there's a cycle and i'll show you how um, so say to start the red one moves one and the blue one moves two um, that'll be the first move every time obviously and then we can tell if there's a cycle in here by if the blue one ever catches up to the red one or if the blue one is ever equal to the red one. So if we just continue with this example, blue would move two, red would move one again, blue would move two, get back to there, red would move one, Blue would move two, but we wouldn't compare yet, and red would move again. Blue would move two again, and get back to the starting node. And then red would move one, and they would be equal. And we could tell right here that there's a cycle. So why does this work? Um, so the blue will always start out ahead of the red. Um, and so if there's a cycle, we can think of this as like the blue is chasing the red until it catches it. Um, and because the blue is only moving two at a time, we can see that it'll always catch the red. It'll never like pass it without um, hitting it. So imagine like if the red is only ahead by one space, the red would move one and then the blue would move two. And then they would hit each other and we would say that there's a cycle. Or if the red is ahead by two spaces, then the red would move by one, blue would move by two, and then we can see it's only behind by one now, and we just proved that these will intersect on the next move. Um, so if there is that cycle, blue will always catch the red um, on exactly the same node. And then if there's not the cycle, we'll be able to tell that by the fact that the fast node will eventually hit a null pointer. Okay, so to actually start coding this, we're going to have our two iterators, and I'll just call them fast and slow. And they're both going to start at the head of our list node. So then we'll do a while loop and we're going to do while fast is not equal to null pointer because um, fast will be the first one to encounter a null pointer if it's there. So we're going to do slow is equal to slow next, which moves the slow pointer one, as we did in the example, and then fast is going to be equal to fast next next. So this one is moving two every time. Um, and then since we're moving this two every time, we'll also have to check that the fast um, next pointer is not null, because if this was null, um, then this would give us a runtime error 
where we're trying to access next, like this next on a null pointer. Um, And then if this condition is met, obviously there is a null pointer at the end of our list, and so the condition is going to be false because there's no cycle. Um, so we can check if this is if these are equal to each other, then we want to return true because there is that cycle. And then if we make it out of our while loop, meaning we encountered a null pointer then we want to return false. And we can run this code. And it works. So starting with the space complexity for our analysis of this, um, we did meet the specification that it's constant space because we're only storing these two pointers right here. Um, so we can just say constant space. And then for time complexity, this is going to loop through um, up to, I guess, 2n um, times, because it could take, like we saw in the example, two times around the list before the nodes intersect. Um, so it would be 2n, but with time complexity or complexities in general, we always just remove the constants. Um, to reduce to O of n time. Alright, I hope that this was helpful for you guys, and thank you for watching.